I always liked the Native American flute sound and flute music. And uh, my family and I went on a uh, cross-country trip in 2004. And out Midwest and West, there was a lot of Native American flute music, a lot of Native American flutes for sale. And uh, I picked up my first flute out there, I believe it was in Phoenix or one of the national parks. I picked up my first Native American flute and began playing it and playing it almost every day on the trip. Once we were finished with the cross-country trip, came back here to central Pennsylvania and uh, there really wasn't any Native American music here that, that I was aware of anyway. And um, usually if I can't find something that's already existing, I like to start something. We have people who, uh, who would first come to the flute circle they would bring their flute and never play a note. They'd bring the flute, sit it on their lap. Uh, we usually sit in a circle and, and people play uh, one after another around the circle. And when it came to them, they would just say, I pass, you know, which was fine. Eventually they got comfortable enough and they started to play. And uh, some of our best players in the group started out that way, where they were just too nervous or too, uh, too shy to play, felt they didn't know how to play. But after listening, you know, we do encourage new players to just play a few notes. We don't play, typically we don't play written music. Uh, when someone gets up to play the Native American flute in our group, um, they don't have any memorized song, they don't have any music in front of them, they're playing what's inside of them. They're playing at that moment, creating a song and playing it uh, while others are accompanying them on either Native American drums or rattles or other flutes. What's interesting is the, the different styles that people have and eventually you get to, to learn who's playing just by listening to them. You can close your eyes and listen to them and know who's playing that song. Even though you've never heard it before, you know their style of playing, uh, the way they, they breathe, the way their phrases are in the music. Um, and to me, it's always interesting when you have someone new, they start out very, very traditional, like traditional music that you would hear played, very structured. Uh, but eventually, as they grow and, and go along with their flute journey, they they loosen up, they start to feel the music, and you can tell the music style changes to a more, um, uh, just a more feeling type music rather than a structured note type music that you would normally hear. If you asked me to play it again, I oh, okay. couldn't play that again. <laughs> <laughs> that was that song just coming out, just playing the flute and just feeling what I felt at that time. And it's not a song I memorized or, any, or learned or anything like that. And that's true with everyone in the flute circle. Um, they come and they play. And as I said, you can tell a person's growing uh, in confidence. They're growing in their uh, comfort with the group because their, their style changes, their music changes as they play. It becomes more relaxed, more enjoyable to them rather than work for them. Uh, the Native American tradition behind the, uh, uh, the flute, it's kind of a legend. There was a warrior who was out hunting in the woods and he stopped for a rest under a tree and fell asleep. And as he was sleeping, um, a bird landed in the tree, cardinal, landed in the tree and started pecking at a branch in the tree. And the wind was blowing and as the wind blew, 
it would blow over the holes in the branch and make this beautiful sound. So he woke up and he heard this beautiful sound coming from this tree branch. So he climbed the tree and broke the branch off and, and started blowing into the flute. And it, it had a very beautiful sound. So he took that back to, uh, um, back to his camp and uh, started playing it for one of the uh, uh, women there that he was interested in. And it became known as the Native American Love Flute or Love Song. And um, that's the one of the stories behind how the flute, Native American flute got started. One of the, uh, again, tradition of Native Americans, they, they'll look at the tree line and, and play according to the tree line, maybe the horizon. If the trees are high, they'll play some high notes and low notes, and, and they'll follow along that horizon, so they call it playing the, the tree line or playing the mountains uh, when they look out, or they'll watch a, a bird flying. If it's flying high or low, they'll play high or low notes. So they, they have that connection with, with Mother Earth and with nature. Of, uh, I always thought that was very interesting, and I've tried that many times, you know, just play the horizon look out over a, a mountain range or uh, trees and play high and low notes and it's, it's a different experience. Very interesting. Uh, mainly if you're looking for just some relaxing music. Um, as I said, a lot of people come and, and they don't have an interest in playing but they love to listen to it. So we always have people sitting around listening as we're playing. and. Um, when we're done playing, they come back again the next month and sit down and listen. So uh, that must mean we're doing something right. People like it. People like that sound. Uh, it's a sound that, that some people say is very healing, very uh, emotional when they hear the Native American flute. And a lot of that we see uh, when we're playing for different groups. People, uh, they get emotional, they get they get um, very into the music. So it's rewarding to see that. It's, it's almost a compliment to us when we're playing the Native American flute and we look out in the crowd and people are very relaxed. They're, their eyes are closed. They might just be listening. You know, they turn off one of their senses, their vision. They close their eyes and they take all the music in just with their ears and listen and relax and uh, uh, we like to see that. We know we're, we're connecting with the people when we do that. We, uh, we have a great group of people in the, in the food circle and a great, great talented musicians in the food circle. Um, they do really well and uh, we enjoy it. We have a good time when we get together and play. Uh, again, it's all part of relieving the day-to-day -day stress and just kind of escaping and, and going on that that flute journey with the person who is playing because they're traveling on the same flute journey that they're bringing you along with them on that flute journey. They don't know where the path is going. They're playing the flute um, and uh, as I said it's not rehearsed, it's not learned, it's, it's just a path that they're on that they feel inside and they play.